Of his love 
back to do this historic confession of the Christian faith known as the Apostles' Creed. What do we believe? I believe in God the Father Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead and buried. The third day he rose from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sit at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From this he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us come to O God. O God, our help in ages past, yeah. our hopes for years to come, our shelter from the stormy blast, yeah. and our eternal home. We thank you, Lord, for this wonderful day. This December 13th of 2020, you saw fit for us to wake us up today. Yes, thank you, Lord. You took us out of our beds and allowed us to go here and there and to and fro. We thank you, Lord. Thank you. That we, you gave us the right mind. And we definitely thank you that you saved our soul. Yes. Yeah the shed blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, your Son. We come to this service, Lord, not trusting our own righteousness, but in your manifold and great mercy. We come before you. We ask you, Lord, to have your way. Yes, Lord, thank you, Lord. We ask you, Lord, to take over. Let this time be a joyous time. We thank you, Lord, for songs, yeah. the prayers. Yeah. We thank you, Lord, for the ministry of the word. Yes, Lord. We thank you throughout this year as well as this month. Yeah. We say this in the name. In the name. Of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Yes. We pray. Amen. Amen. Song.
Amen. 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 As we come to the Holy, to hear the Holy Book, as we turn our eyes to a certain familiar passage that's found in Jeremiah, the 29th chapter and the 11th verse. Jeremiah, the 29th chapter, and the 11th verse. Coming from the King James Version, it reads this way. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, mm. said the Lord. Yeah. Thoughts of peace and not evil, to give you an expected end. Then shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken mm. unto you. Yeah. The word of God. Amen. For the people of God. Praise be to God. Amen. As we bow our heads in prayer on this altar call. As we pray for families who have to struggle and grapple with the loss of a loved one, mm. you may know somebody that either prepared or unprepared yeah. had to see their loved one die. Or hear on the phone that the loved one died. Some of y'all remember the country music great Charlie Pride. Yeah. He died yesterday at the age of 86 due to COVID complications. I just heard today that someone who was very special in my life who encouraged me to go to seminary, Reverend Dr. Nathaniel Owens, the pastor of Great St. Paul Seeming Church in Chicago, Illinois, passed today. You may know someone that is struggling with this COVID crisis, someone has been tested positive for COVID-19. Yeah. And the family is, is going and running and don't know what to do. Mm. Pray for members of Mount Memorial City Church, especially those like Caitlin's Seven Abel. Yes, Lord. She's in the hospital right now, and praise God, she's still alive and well. Amen. Amen. We pray for also Teresa Parham. Yes. <laughs> Everyone who is not doing their best, mm -hmm. pray for all the churches in Rockville, Illinois, Illinois, and throughout the world. Yeah. Due to this crisis, we cannot come together like we used to. Yeah. Choirs can't sing the way they would like to. Mm -hmm. Pray for the sick and shedding, for the homeless, yeah. for the hungry, for all the sinners in the world. Yes, sinners. We need to pray for sinners. Because someone prayed for us. Yes. Yeah, sure. We were a sinner. Thank you, Lord. Let us bow our hands. Oh God, Father, the one who has given us the access mm -hmm. to pray. Yes. We ask you, Lord, that the names who we have called. And the families that you know that 
having a rough time right now. Mm. But you heal their wounded soul. Yep. You be that bomb in Gilead. Mm. Touch those, Lord, who have passed our way. Yeah. And now have passed on. Take care of each and every member who wish they could go get back to church, but can't go back to church. Mm. Take care of all the pastors. Johnny Ellis, the bishops. Yeah, yeah. Lord, as we were here, thank you for bringing us to this 150th anniversary yes. of the Christian Methodist Episcopal Church. Let this prayer go to those who are crying. Hmm. Let them know that you can dry their tears. Yes, Lord. Thank no matter you. what they're going through. Yes. I will be mindful, Lord, to know that you heard our prayer. Yes. Because we say it in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. You heard our prayer. Yes, God. But your will will be done. You heard our prayer. Yeah, thank you, Lord. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.
had a Sunday school on Zoom at 1 o'clock p.m. We have Bible study on Wednesdays at 1 o'clock and at 6 o'clock p.m. Yes. Scripture of the day, if you'd like to get a scripture of the day, just get in contact with me. And we have Sunday service each Sunday at 10 o'clock a.m. Mm -hmm. We're glad that you are with us yes. at this time. As we prepare, I want to say we go see something about a certain time and of year that we have, but just want to say that God's been a way maker. Yes. He's Amen. been a way maker. Amen. And I'm prepared to read uh, and share this message. You are here, moving every heart. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, working in this place. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, moving in our midst. Yes, amen. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, working in our midst. I worship you. I worship you. You are way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. You are way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. You are here, touching every heart. I worship you. I worship you. Yes. You are here. I worship you. Yes. You are here, rearranging destinies. Yes. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, turning lives around. Yes, God. I worship. I worship you because you are way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Yes. You are way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Father in heaven, yes, God. We come before you. Yes, Lord. In worship. Yes. And in praise. Thank you, Lord. Lord Jesus. Yes, God. Who has made the way out of no way. Yes, yes. In yes. our lives. Thank you, Lord. We come before you, Lord. Yes. We have sung. Mm. We have praised. Yes. We have done the prayers. Mm -hmm. Lord, we need a word from you. Yes, Lord. We need to hear from you. Yes. Open my mouth that I may speak. Open our ears that we may hear. Open our hearts that we may do those things. Now, pleasing in your sight will be mine to give you the praise. Yes. Give you the thanks. Yes, thank you, Lord. To 
give you the glory. In the name, in the name of Jesus, of Jesus Christ. Yes, God. Amen. Amen. You are here. Oh, turn in lives around. I worship you. I worship you. You are here. Rearrange the destinies. I worship you. I worship. Let me go with that family and walk with their, their, their 
delivered her three children mm -hmm. named India, Reuben, and Adam. Amen. And by the grace of God, by the grace of the Almighty, yeah. I'm alive today. 66 years, been pastor of a CME church for over 40 years. Yeah. I'm proud yeah. to be the pastor of the church that's named after the first bishop that was called at that time in 1870 the Colored Methodist Episcopal Church in America. Mm -hmm. The first bishop that was elected was named Hen William Henry Myers. Now Wednesday, December 16, 1870, in Jackson, Tennessee, mm -hmm. 41 slave members of the Methodist Episcopal South, even though the AME Church was already existing at that time, and been existing since 1816, and the uh, AME Zion Church was already around in 1822. Both were in, that came from the North, they came down to the South. But at this time, this took place. Yeah. As said by Bishop Lakey, a tender plan. And all people around the world should know and should celebrate the 150th anniversary or birthday of the CME Church. Mm -hmm. Some may ask, why did you split from the Methodist Episcopal South? It almost sounded like it was our fault. Well, I must take you to a paragraph that's in the CME Church history. That if you go to www.cme church, you will see. It shares that the CME church came into being in the tumultuous aftermath of the Civil War and throes of Reconstruction. Beginning in 1619, the enslavement of Native Africans captured in their homeland transported to America under horrendous conditions known as the Middle Passage, became an integral to the American way of life. By the 19th century, chattel slavery, especially on the cotton and cane and tobacco plantations of the South, had become the peculiar <coughs> institution Despite the principles and precepts of Jesus Christ, however, the Christian churches of the South not only approved and advocated slavery, but even accepted it in their midst. Mm -hmm. Foremost among them was the Methodist Episcopal Church, who in 1844 split split because the Methodist Episcopal Church South wanted to hear and keep the institution of slavery. Mm. When the Civil War began in 1860, it had more enslaved members than any other religious denomination, the Methodist Episcopal Church South. Almost 100,000 members remained in the Methodist Episcopal Church South, and, and it was said in 1866 in the General Conference of that church, it was asked, what shall be done to promote the religious interests of our colored members? The answer was predicated on the expressed desires and requests of those colored members for example, Isaac Lane of Tennessee, and later the founder of Lane College, said, and once we made it known that we preferred a 
separate organization of our own, established after our own ideals and notions. Lucius Hulsey of Georgia and later founder of Payne College wrote after emancipation, a movement was at once inaugurated to give the Negroes a separate and independent organization. Mm -hmm. Aware of their desires, James E. Evans, chair of the committee concerning of this issue said, the General Conference believed that the colored people, now that they are free, would desire a separate church organization for themselves. And accordingly, between 1866 and 1870, the bishops carried out the dictates of that general conference. Mm -hmm. In May of 1870, they reported that all was necessary and legal steps were ready for this upcoming December. And so that 41 former slaves gathered in Jackson, Tennessee in 1870 were duly elected and properly authorized to organize their own separate and independent call Colored Methodist Episcopal Church in America. They elected their first two bishops, William H. Miles and Richard Vanderhoist. From that time, they changed from that to since saying the Colored Methodist Episcopal Church, they dropped off the In America. In 1954, another change happened at this denomination, and they said, we are more than just for color folk, but we're for all folk. Amen. Amen. And so they changed the C in color to Christian, mm -hmm. to the Christian Methodist Episcopal Church. As the scripture tells us, God knew what we were going through. Yeah. And in the midst of people who hated and did not want to deal with people on the same level, God knew yeah. what we were going through. Mm -hmm. That's why in Jeremiah 29 11, he said, I know, for I know the plans I have for you. See you, Lee. Declare the Lord plans to prosper you, colored Methodist Episcopal Church, and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Yeah. So we come to this time as you say, Happy Birthday, 150 CME. Happy Birthday, 150 CME. We got churches all around that started just right there. And when I I bring to you, I bring to you two things. I bring your call and a song. Mm -hmm. The call is for us to take heed as a call for this church. God has plans for every church. Yeah. He has plans for wherever church you've been to. He has plans. And he wants you to take those plans and take it out to the world. Yeah. Throughout the years 20 to 20 and 2021, you're going to hear different things about this, this coming uh, today we're going to have a celebration at the, in, on, vid, on virtual. But it's a call to us to say, stick in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't let go. Yeah. And that's why you see this shirt. This shirt sharing Miles Memorial. 
City Church. Uh, we just recently got masks. You know, we got to wear masks nowadays. And so you can put on the mask Amen. and witness people about this time. Yeah. Now as I close, this is a song that I know my music friend don't know. He, he don't suppose to know. Uh, this is a song that was shared over 100, about 150 years ago. Mm. Lucius Holsey became the third elected bishop, wrote these words. It's one that let us remember this time. And then we are part of that one family known as the Christian Methodist Episcopal Church. Yeah. He wrote, Oh, rapture scenes that break the day when thou shalt call me home. When I shall here no longer stay, no Short of the 
glory of God. God sent his son, the son of God, yes. into the world. And through his sons, we are saved. Amen. And so, yeah, if you haven't given Christ your life, do this. Pray mm -hmm. with me. Lord Jesus, yes. I am a sinner. Yes. And I need Jesus Christ to come into my life. Yes, Lord. And as you have said, if I believe that he came, that he died for my sin and he rose again, yes, yes. that I will be saved. Yes, thank you, Lord. I accept you, Lord, and that you would take my life mm. and wrap your will into my future. Yes, God. And I say this in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You said that in your heart. God has heard your prayer and will save you right, right now. Amen. Right now. And I'm telling you right now that the, 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 the Christian walk is, 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 is not, not easy at all. Mm. We fall down, but we get up. Yes. We fall down, but we get up. Yes. We fall down, we get up. For a saint is just a sinner who fell down, but got up. Yeah. Take Jesus. Yes. In these troubling times, take Jesus. Yes. No matter where you have fallen down, Jesus' hand is there. Yes. To pick you up. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for every eye that you have allowed them to hear this message. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for bringing us this far. Yes, thank you, Lord. As a Christian Methodist Episcopal Church, we ask you, Lord, that during this 150th anniversary, that you touch every life. Yes, Lord. Touch our members, touch our officers. Yes. Touch our preachers, touch our pastors. Yes. Touch our presiding elders, touch our bishops. Yes, Lord. And we will hear your cry mm. and heed to your call. Yeah. And we thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Knowing that you are not through with us yet. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We thank you for being part of this service. We ask that you would continue to be in prayers for all the people around you. That you come back this coming Sunday at 10 o'clock. Yes. Yeah. That may God bless you and keep you, cause His face to shine upon you. Praise God from all sings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here.
embrace the Lord Jesus Christ, yeah. the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you both now and forever. And the church name.